in this video, in Ebony the King's Return, we're going to be taking a look at purchasing packages. The currency I'll be using is US dollars that I'm displaying them in, and I also might be mentioning Australian dollars. For anyone wondering, the packages start about a dollar, I believe, um, or 150 in Australian dollars. And as you see, this one is $5, and I believe it's 10, 20, 50, and $100. For anyone that's in Australia, uh, this particular pack of $5 is actually $8, $15, $31, 80 and 160 Now that depends on what device you're on, it can actually be different. Um, depending on your region, um, it may be cheaper actually to buy on iOS over Android. And perhaps even cheaper if you do have your account on the Amazon store instead. Now... We're first going to be starting with a more beginner thing and also exactly how to get the most out of your purchasing and exactly what I purchase on a daily basis. Although sometimes I skip days, which you can absolutely do as well. You can purchase one a week, two, or sorry, one every two weeks or one every month. Um, and bearing in mind how much you're spending, you may want to alter um, my method to suit you a little bit more which I'll go through as well and finally ending the video by going through most packs the $100 packs what the key items they have and which ones I suggest using so get just getting started with exactly how I purchase and how I recommend you go ahead and do this at least in the most simple way as you see on screen right now we have an event pack this one is a carnival week sale Depending on when you're watching this video, there may be a different sale on, or there may be a different icon at the bottom of the screen called King's Scheme, and you can also buy in there. Uh, you can probably buy just the gem pack, but there will be other ones available there also. This one in particular, and most event packs, will have 20,000 gems for the $5 pack, as well as at the top here, the 1,000 um, base gems. And then as you scroll down, you get... 8 million of each resource, that's what a super resource chest is. So each one is worth 1 million of each. So overall it's obviously more than that. Rune stones, materials, refining stones, there's additional resources here, 5 million of each. Speed ups and just so on. So it has a real cross section of the game, it has plenty of things. Most notably, a lot of gems. In addition to that, when you were to buy one of those it will unlock the limited time promotion that's in the bottom left. You may have to click the first purchase icon if you have that instead. And then at the top, click this kind of chest icon that you see. In this screen, you'll see the basic gems, which we looked at before. The $5 packs are worth the 1000 When purchasing this in a one-day period, you will be able to claim at the time of purchase or later if the, pack, if the purchase that you make comes up with a pack you do not want, you're able to click outside of that and cancel it and claim at a different time, which I suggest doing. So in between here, as you see the event time, hour four and hour three, you'll have this pack available, which you can claim. Bearing in mind, you can only claim one per day for 1000 gems. You get some materials, some level 4 skill books, refining stones, and other things. In between hour 3 and hour 2, so for me, in about 17 and a half minutes, this pack will instead change to a gold, research speed, some um, research stones, and so on. So it's just a research pack. And then between hour 2 and hour 1, it'll be speed ups. And between hour 1 and 0 minutes, it will be resources you can wait to any of these time periods in between tree sets so that for me that's in over 19 hours so it will keep resetting back to four hours again once it goes to zero and you'll have another chance to wait until you click the claim button that will be here instead of buy to pick the one you want personally most days i'm picking the gold one which will give you five million gold 100 hours of research speeds and some other things that are going to help you with researching which is obviously going to be key to getting um, buffs and debuffs alike as well as research speed building speed 
training speed, and much more, which you can obviously check out my research video and others to get a little bit more information on that and the uses of it for anyone that does not know. In addition to that, if you are spending multiple times a week or at least probably once a fortnight, um, I would suggest coming into the advancement tab and researching all the way down here, one called coinage to maximum, which is going to increase the amount of gold you can levy at a time. Again, if you're not buying gem packs or, you know, the $5 ones or even the $100 ones, although I think you should go for the $5 ones. If you're not doing it, probably don't get this research up because you only want to be doing it if you're levying a lot, which I do, so I've maxed it out. Once you do this and you go to the levy option, depending on keep level, VIP level, and a few other factors, you'll get more gold and you'll get more levy times available to you. For me, at my keep level, it's 38,000 gold per levy, plus the green researched amount, which is also 38,000. Because it's maxed out, it's obviously 100% boost, so it doubles my amount of gold per levy. I levy. 200 times a day although as you see at the bottom i have an additional 110 levy times available to me for today but i have not used them and will not use them because the gem levy cost for these additional ones are at least 160 each which the other ones are like 80 only so it's half price if we click this and go to 110 40,000 gems for only like eight and a half million gold in my case it may be different for you that's not a good price that's very expensive for less than half so 15,000 gems or so I can get almost double the gold so make sure depending on your keep level and so on hopefully it's quite high you can actually just do a lower amount of gems for quite a lot of gold including the limited time promotion you should be getting you know, all of those resources, speeds, some leftover gems, as well as about 20 million gold per day, at least that you spend like this. If you're buying enough or you're buying multiple packs in one day, you can obviously save up even more gems to be able to miss days in spending and still continually be able to levy quite a lot of gold. Personally, that's how I like to go about it rather than spending large amounts at once. And I'll also take you to some other things to show you how I actually get the most out of spending, especially on the weekend. So as you see here, I've clicked on my gem amount in the top right, which will take me to the store. And at the top here, you see the weekend purchase package. So on a Friday at reset um, through the weekend, as you see there's on my game, it's got over two days available on the weekend purchase package. When you make any purchase in this time, the first level is 500 basic gems, which on a pack like this is this number here, the 1000. And then you have level two, three, four, so on. Once you level those up, you get bonus rewards for spending. So you can get the limited time on a weekend, you can get the limited time promotion, you can get the pack itself and weekend purchase packages. Um, so that's something to keep in mind, that's something to level up, again that will reset and will go away after that two days and you have to do it all over again from level one each weekend. In addition to that, you can get certain events like this one, the super value event, and there may be different ones depending on when you're watching this video. And you can bas basically buy a bunch of basic gems, level this up to level two, three, all the way up until level six, depending on the level of the garden that you get before the end of the event, you'll be able to claim all of these rewards throughout here and an additional general. Bearing in mind, this doesn't go 4,000, 8,000, 12,000 and so on for each level. It does go up exponentially more than that. So to actually get the last one, it's very expensive. I'm not entirely sure how much, it may, may be well over $800 within two weeks that you kind of have to spend. I'm really not sure, I've not tried to do it myself, but just keep that in mind that you're probably not going to get this general unless you're a very large spender. You can do it, but make sure you check out my other videos to 
make sure the gem you're getting is actually going to be worth trying to spend that much in a short period of time. This general is pretty good, but you can get almost the same in the tavern anyway. And this would generally be, for instance, used in a subordinate city. Other events that you can pair up with your spending to try to get the most use out of it is consuming events. So there's ones like this one, where it's gems, common speedups, construction speedups, and healing speedups. So within the event time, as long as you use the, the numbers here, you'll get those rewards for each level. You have to use common speedups, which are just regular ones. They can be used on anything. Construction specific ones that can be used on construction, getting that up at a lesser amount than the common ones. Same goes for healing, using gems as well, which is obviously going to be useful if you're levying a lot. And you can get a bunch of rewards. This includes construction speedups, training speedups. A lot of times in these, there'll be king scheme events and many other things be looking out for so always click in these items in the bottom left and again for anyone trying to find a limited time promotion it can't it's always the bottom left icon it might be first purchase or something and click the tab at the top also other than that there may be things i'm leaving out in terms of how you can maximize that again leave it in the comments below if anyone needs any help um, do look down there there may be some more uh, tips for people from other viewers now I'm just going to go back and look at some of the $100 packs and get into some of the better ones to buy for those bigger spenders. So as you see here, the ultimate speed up pack is going to be resetting in 10 minutes. All packs in here will reset at that time, or at least most of them. So that again, they'll look like nine minutes. They'll stay there for about an hour and then they'll, I believe it's completely random that they will um, turn over and there'll be plenty of others. I'll go through most of them. If there's any I leave out, do comment down below and help me out with that just in case. I do have screenshots of everything available in these. So if I am missing um, anything out, which I may do in the interest of time, do let me know about down below if you wanted a complete list of what's available in these. I'll just be going through the main things. Now this particular one I have bought before and is gonna be fairly good. Um, there are training only speed up packs, healing speed ups, although they technically give you more speed ups for that particular thing. So if you wanted to chain troops or heal troops, it's not, in my opinion, a big enough difference in between this one and those to really justify buying the other ones, which are the same price. So personally, if you wanted speed ups for almost anything, I would just buy this one. It's over 400 days in common speed ups, as well as um, over another 100 or 200 days in miscellaneous other ones that may only be used for, for certain things. In addition to packs like this, you have a resource pack. Again, these are all $100 packs, all will be available in um, 25,000 basic gem denominations. The resource one gives you 350 million of each resource, which adds up to 1.4 billion. It will give you speed ups, it will give you plenty of other items, obviously. There's also two other packs that are similar. Instead of giving you 350 of each, they give you 600 million of only two. So there's one that will give you food and lumber, 600 million of each. And then there's also another different pack that will give you 600 million of each of ore and stone that obviously adds up to less than the other pack but if you were low in those two particular resources you could just buy um, one of those other ones but again overall you're getting less resources but it's more concentrated in those particular two personally i would just buy the one where you get more you get 1.4 billion instead of 1.2 billion as an overall but that's really down to you whether or not you wanted to buy these. Obviously you can hit bosses and gather resources and get a lot from that, especially if you're a large spender anyway and you've got that research up and you've got plenty of troops, um, you've got plenty of time on your hands, you can do those things to get speed ups, to get resources and so on. So you don't necessarily have to spend as much. 
but there's something to keep in mind if you wanted to do these events if you wanted to win server versus server monarch events you may want to buy these packs they're the ones i recommend the most just to keep it simple but i'll also be going through some other packs as well now king scheme event that comes around in the bottom which will replace regular event packs uh, in that time they have general mementos so depending on the particular event you can take the mementos that you get from purchasing those particular packs and wait until the next king scheme for better generals to come up um, the last one that went by had some bad generals in it in my opinion so you can always wait until you do that so when you buy the lower packs they will actually have more gems in it than the event pack that we took a look at before which i'll scroll up to that one so this one has 20,000 gems or even 21,000 gems the other one has 31,000 gems in the king scheme it has slightly less of the other things i believe but it does have plenty of other things as well plenty of gems it's a good pack in the king scheme to get um, these will roll over you actually get a couple different ones so there are like a speed up pack there is a resource pack but i mostly find the best value in the king scheme event just to get the gems one personally because the speed up one is like 360 hours of speeds but it's really not as good as just getting the gems now other than that again back to 100 dollar packs the other ones i was talking about by the way were five dollar packs you haven't xp one so that's general xp and monarch xp a bunch of other items speed ups and so on monarch xp you get three and a half million and you get four and a half million general xp obviously other items as well included with that twenty-five thousand basic gems pretty good to be getting but overall once you get those higher level generals four and a half million is nothing it's not even a level probably not even a quarter of a level if you start getting over 30 so you can get that general xp just from finding people and so on it means less for those larger spenders the monarch xp is okay but again if you start getting near that level 30 which it goes up to 35 in both cases it doesn't mean as much if you are on a newer server and you're looking at to jump ahead you could be using these but i wouldn't particularly recommend it as you do get in other packs as well, maybe not as much, but still adds up. Now there's a material one for generals, for general gear. So 120, I think level 6 uh, materials, so they're going to be random ones. 350 large material chests, 4 dragon gear scrolls, um, and 3 Archimede gear scrolls. These gear scrolls are great, but if you don't even have the materials, which you don't get enough in this pack to make the gear in the first place, it may not be worth as much to you in addition you can actually just buy these with gems in a high level black market in the market building um, by the time this is going to be good to use you're going to be able to have teammates or yourself kill higher level bosses that are going to drop these anyway there are alliance packs and teleport packs I'm mostly going to ignore these, they're not particularly great value for those larger spenders. You're probably not going to need the speed up, sorry, you're probably not going to need the teleport one anyway, because you're going to get teleports from many other means anyway. And if you really have to, you can use gems to get it as well. It is like 140 advanced teleports for anyone who wants to know for the $100 pack, but it's not particularly worth it in my opinion. Obviously there's going to be a gold pack. At $100, 100 million gold, 500 research stones, 1,000 hours of research speeds, and there's actually quite a lot of additional speeds, common speed ups available in the pack as well. Um, but overall, at least just the gold um, is not worth the $100 pack price if you don't need gold right now as with the method I went through before with the levying and getting gems that way you actually get like five times the, the amount of value out of doing it that way rather than buying these packs I can't quite remember the math I did on that but it does really add up and um, if you would rather do a slow burn spending like I do you will get a little bit more value 
for money in gold, but you can buy those packs if you're on a newer server. You can buy them. Or if you're a very large spender and you want to get a billion gold and just speed up a ton of high level advanced military research, then you can obviously do that. Cultivation uh, packs. So that's going to be a bunch of rune stones for specialties and a few other things. Plenty of materials, level 6 materials, about 140 of those. Two and a half thousand medals that can be used for upgrading uh, spiritual beasts or mostly your generals and there's a few other uses for those. But those can be gotten through attacking monsters, boss monsters, and you get plenty of those. Two and a half thousand in the grand scheme of things, especially for those larger spenders with time on their hands. It's not going to be particularly worth it. I wouldn't really recommend that one unless you're trying to get a lot of runestone chests for any given reason. Lastly, we have a premium general pack. So that's going to be a general that's not available in the tavern. Obviously, it's going to be a little bit of a lottery with that, whether or not you're going to get a good one. Um, in most cases, you probably will. But for that kind of price, it is a bit scary to go for that. I'm not sure if there's this pack available at a lower cost, so the $50 pack and so on. It may be the case, but you probably won't be getting a premium general. It'll probably just be a regular epic historical general instead. So something to keep in mind as well. You probably can get this pack, but make sure it says premium next to it before buying it if that's what you're looking for. You also, in this $100 pack, get 10 level 4 skill books and also 1,000 medals. It's not much in the grand scheme of things, but it, it will help you, especially if you are on a newer server and you're trying to get um, a very nice general, some good skills, and leveling up your general a little bit without having to hit those boss monsters and regular monsters. Now, I think that's probably all for this video, so main things to take away from this are probably buy speedups, buy resources if you really need those. Also, do consider doing a $5 purchase every day from the event packs, from King's Scheme and so on. Wait until the limited time promotion rolls over until what you want. Just going through that, it starts with materials, then gold, then speed ups, then resources, and resets back to 4 hours. And make sure you're overlapping plenty of different spending events, consuming events, the weekend spend event. Again, that's every single weekend and you're going to get the most out of your money. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave it down below. I'm happy to answer any of those. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, give it a like, subscribe for past and future videos.